TikTok Live is like the Grim Reaper of YouTube. If you end up on there, it's because you're going to say hello to the man in the sky soon. I think that's the way I can say that without this video instantly losing all of the adverts that it might possibly ever get. But we'll see. I just want to say, um, thank you for 400,000 subscribers. If you guys want to be another one of those, then click the button. Also, maybe turn notifications on when you're down there. Why not? You don't want to miss any of these videos, do you? They're so good. You don't want to miss something that's so good for you. What does the doctor say? And I'm Alex video a day is probably bad for your mental health, but you should subscribe anyway. That was a doctor who said that. Jason Nash was part of the David Dobrik vlog squad, if you remember that. It's not really around anymore for multiple reasons. I think there was um, some stuff that happened that was bad. It was really bad, actually. And then Casey Neistat did a documentary on it and never released it which is strange. I, I, he follows me. I wouldn't dare ask him to release it. Maybe I should just say, hey, just send me it. Let me do like a little review of your documentary, Casey. I need stuff to talk about. I'm a commentary YouTuber. Release the documentary now. But that documentary kind of covered the whole downfall. David Dobrik basically ended up nearly killing one of his friends uh, called Jeff Wittick. Then was involved in some stuff where one of his friends was being really slimy um, and being really, really terrible to girls. That's the only way I can put it in here about YouTube taking away all of the ad revenue. Again, um, which is rough. Uh, the censors are horrible, man. Not as horrible as what David Dobrik did. He is not a great guy. And he vlogged all of that and he put it on his YouTube channel. So that's cool. Um, vlogging people being taken advantage of. But with like cool, like popular music over it. So it sounds sick. But there was one member in these videos and his name was Jason Nash. Now Jason Nash is on TikTok Live every day. Moose Ajami exploring space! But he's really at this point Genuinely just begging for money. There is like nothing else being laid off the table now. Begging for money, begging for money. What's he doing? He's begging for money. I understand people got to do what they got to do. Who knows where I might be at one day. I've recently been having issues where I haven't been paid for the last couple months. So maybe I might have to get on TikTok Live and beg for money. I'd rather like stream on YouTube and Twitch and like just do something like that instead. Because I think if you're streaming on TikTok Live, that's when you've hit the lowest of lows. There's Twitch streaming and then there's uh, Kick streaming and then there's TikTok Live. And there's Cameo, but I've had one of those and I'll gladly reopen it again. I'm not ashamed to go that low. But I'm going to be watching some of the worst moments of this because I have just gone through and looked at some of them and they're insane. And David Dobrik appears quite a few times, still taking the mick out of Jason Nash, which is weird. He just checks in on him once a week and bullies him. It's strange. It's very strange. So the first clip we have here is Tana Mojo actually made a comment about Jason Nash. She doesn't seem to like him, um, understandably so. Apparently he tried to hit on her when she was like 18 and he was like 42. So I think she thinks he's a bit of a creep. And can you disagree? Not really. Can someone make Jason Nash a fucking DoorDash account? If I open my TikTok one more time to seeing him begging for roses on my live for you page, I'm calling CPS. Let's go. 2,000 in the live. Yeah, that's the thing about TikTok live. It really does kind of feel like you are just letting yourself get bullied. Like, I've seen Paul Breach who is weirdly in a very similar category to Jason Nash. I've seen Elphaba. And I also have dabbled on TikTok Live out of boredom occasionally during COVID. And yes, I just shaved my head and they were not nice on them. And I understand that, to be fair. I'm not saying that they're wrong. If you go on TikTok Live, you're being part of the freak show. I am reformed. Do you believe me? <laughs> <laughs> but all of those comments, man. DoorDash? As somebody who used to have a DoorDash account, I lived in America briefly, frequented the States over there. I loved DoorDash. It was great. I used to order myself a Raisin Canes, and it was great. I actually probably still have the app on my phone. It's been like five years. That's terrifying. Why haven't I deleted it? Maybe in the hopes that one day I get to have a chicken sandwich once again. I live in England. I could, I could make one. So I don't understand why I'm acting like... It's not possible to get one of those over here. But I do want Raising Canes to come to the UK, and I would do stuff for that that can't be mentioned on YouTube again. Favours. Shh. Why'd I do that? That was weird. But Jason Nash seems to be having a pretty terrible time. I mean, you know, look at his face. Incredible. Thank you, guys. 
he's got to pretend that he can't see any of that. He's not doing a good job. It's pretty obvious when somebody is reading something, really, isn't it? It's hard to get around that. And also, if you ban it, then he doesn't get any of the attention. He's just got to kind of hope that somebody sends him GIF. And that's the thing, right? That's the... That's the strange bit. You know, you don't just kind of sit there and hope that people gift to you. Some people just straight up ask. They just straight up ask. And that, to me, is mental. But what's really weird is David Dobrik still checks in on Jason Nash just to kind of see what he's up to. Like, he's his little pet tortoise. I tried to pick something that's a really old animal. And that was the best I could come up with. Um, or a dog that needs to be put down. But that seems harsher. Guys, I'm visiting Jason. I like to visit him at least once a week just to make sure that he's alive. I know that he's doing a TikTok live every day now, but I'm still not convinced it's him. It could be AI at this point. So David Derrick, what, just walks into his house? Does Jason Nash leave his door? Unlocked all the time and as David Dobrik posted that on his snapchat to tens of millions of people If so, that's quite funny. Just hey guys, by the way, I can like just walk into this guy's house at any time I own him. I'm David Dobrik and Jason Dash is my little lap dog. Jason <gasps> Oh my god, I thought you were Wyatt. I got so freaked out. You haven't seen him in a while? Yeah. Live streaming. I was and then it wasn't going well so I got off. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're kind of becoming a legend on TikTok now. I know. Not, not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think it's fun. Not in a good way. I, I've seen TikToks with like, take a shot every time Jason Nash is on live. It's very weird to just have, like, your multi-millionaire friend who basically got a bit of a reputation for being kind of like the leader of a cult. Still come up to your house, walk in, put on a crown, and then go, haha, you do TikTok live for minimum wage. Like, it's all right for us to punch down, David, but not you, because you are not a very nice man. So don't join in. This joke is not for you, okay? We are laughing at you and your group, not allowed to laugh with us. Go away. It's a shame. I used to really like David Dobrik's videos. Obviously, they're a bit mental, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt and assumed that most of it was like scripted bits and that most of it also wasn't actually what appeared to be happening on screen and that, you know, it was a bit of a joke. And then you realize it's not really a bit of a joke and it's not really scripted bits and that they did do terrible things. Like, he also did something where he got his mate Seth to make, he said he was gonna make out with a model, blindfold him, and then he made out with Jason Nash, which once again, that's creepy. Um, and he didn't appreciate that. Now, it was seen as like laddie banter, but as somebody who has had that actually personally happen to him, where somebody tried to laddie banter me uh, a few years ago, I didn't find it funny either. Um, I thought it was just sexual assault, to be honest. I didn't fucking like it. And I think that David Dobrik thinks he can just kind of get away with anything. So he'd be like, that's how you get in the vlogs. And then Seth ended up calling him and being like, oh man, can you put me back in the vlogs again? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do any kissing pranks. Because after he complained, David just blackballed him out of the vlogs. He was like, oh, what, you didn't like the prank that we did where we made you kiss an old man? Oh, well, um, you're just not in them anymore. So he just has control over these people. And it's sickening. I come over in like a little bit and I called Joe and I was like, is Jason doing okay? And Joe's like, I haven't seen him on live in a while. And I go, how long has it been? He's like, Hours, and that's just, that's that's when we start to worry when you haven't been on. Yeah, you look like you just got back from like a Christmas dinner. Why are you dressing so nice? Well, you do better on TikTok Live when you look nice. Is that true? Yeah. Where did you get that stat that you do better on TikTok Live? Is that just from testing? No, someone told me that. Wait, really? Who was it? Was it Pool Breach? It seems like they're almost like a Pool Breach fit. Or me in 2020. I don't know why I admitted that. I should have just left myself out of that equation. Shameful. Shameful. But that's more that they try and dress like people who are younger than them. And not because I'm trying to dress like Jason Nash. Just putting that on the record now forever. I met this live streamer. He's a really nice guy. He was like, hey, little tip. He's like, when you dress nice, you'll, you'll do better. <laughs> and I was like, all right, and then I tried it out. But then again, I didn't make any money today, so. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for having us over in your, Bye guys. In your little hobbit home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess David Dobrik just like walks in and out of Jason Nash's life whenever he wants. Very strange relationship those two have. I don't understand it. I don't understand if you were Jason why you'd even entertain him at this point. I guess to get on his Snapchat because he has to post like 60 slides a day to make money. That's what David Dobrik does now. Like there's a lot of creators who just mass spam on Snapchat makes money. Not saying that I'm not open to doing it one day. I just don't have anything that I think is worth hosting like that. And I'm not going to go around and just film what me making breakfast and stuff because nobody's going to want to watch that. But David Dobrik is apparently doing it and doing well. Well, I'm pretty sure half the stuff he posts is stolen content. Like, he just downloads TikToks and posts them on there. So, he's just doing whatever he can to make money. Just like always, filming other people, taking their stuff, and not doing anything himself. But it seems like this is getting to Jason Nash quite a bit. 
and um, he's starting to crack. And this is the worst thing about live streaming that I personally felt when I used to live stream, which was if you are not having a good day and your job is to clock in three, four, five hours doing something that maybe you wouldn't necessarily want to do in front of a live audience, it's not fun. And it's one of the reasons why I don't really envy anybody who does live performances. It used to be something that I thought like I wanted to do, but then I could do them for my own bedroom and I was doing them through COVID. I was streaming Minecraft. And, uh, you know, at one point we were like the most subscribed UK Twitch channel. So uh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That was a cool thing for a period of time to be. But then it got really just kind of depressing. It was COVID, uh, to be honest. But also then the audience just like, there were a lot of Minecraft fans in there. Um, the moment that the, the lockdown restrictions were lifted here, they were just like, you guys can't go outside because we just don't think you should go outside. And I was like, I'm allowed to, man. I'm going outside because if I don't go outside, the next live stream you're going to see is just going to be a man just curled up in a ball in a room crying. So then I told them all to fuck off and it didn't go too well for me. Don't tell the Minecraft stands to piss off or tell them that they're being unreasonable because even if they're wrong, they will get you. They are not happy. They are not happy at all. <laughs> They think they mean well. They think they mean well. They do. And I appreciate that part of them. But God, at some point, I just got to realize that the world doesn't revolve around America. I think a lot of Americans need to know that. But this is Jason Nash uh, watching his world collapse. So that sucks. But we're going to watch it too. I want to see what he says. Uh, thank you. I love you, Starshine. Thank you. Uh, Matt, he took us from, uh, he took us to the top 34, which is, like, insane. Oh, so he's crying because he got put in, like, the top 34 out of people on TikTok Live, I guess. It's like, there's a leaderboard, and the higher up the leaderboard you get, the more likely you are to make more gifts, and other people will battle you, and, um, it happens a lot, and it's weird. It's very strange. I don't really understand the leaderboards. It's almost like, a a ranking of like zoo animals you know like if you could go to the zoo and you could go i love the hippos and then they get um bumped up and if you finish in the bottom 10 in that zoo they kill everything in the zoo they kill all the things that finish in the bottom that's what they do on tiktok live if jason ash finishes in the top bottom 10 he's he gets euthanized it's sad so he's crying tears of joy because he is alive and happy it's really sad it is i mean he's not exactly a stand-up guy He's done anything he can to stay famous, which is why he isn't famous. Because when you have no base, when you don't have an audience actually built on liking you for anything, because you just did everything that you needed to do to get views, they don't like you, they don't respect you. Like, you can fall off at points, and stuff goes in and out, and trends happen, and, you know, videos don't do as well, or whatever. But as long as you genuinely are a human being, people will probably follow that and they will actually stick around relative. I'm very lucky that I have such a core audience of people who will basically seem to watch me no matter what I do. And I've been able to do this for years and years and years and I'm so incredibly lucky. But that's because there are many times where I could have just done literally the most craziest possible thing for views, but doing that would have just alienated my audience at the, what, the hopes that loads of more people watch. I'd always rather have a small core audience of people that follow me and have like 50 million people and have to act like, I don't know, I show speed. I think I would rather be hit in the head with a large comical hammer, like in Tom and Jerry. That's the type of stuff Jason Nash would do for content. He'd get hit by the Tom and Jerry hammer and he'd go flat as a pancake and then he'd pop back out as his full human self. And it would be funny. I would laugh at that. There was also like weird clips circulating of Jason Nash getting remarried that David Dobrik decided to vlog. I couldn't imagine my marriage like permanently being in like a David Dobrik Snapchat video. I think I'd be like, hey man, I know you have to film like a hundred of these, but please, can you just leave the camera alone? We don't do this anymore, really. Can you stop? Okay. okay, guys, we are on our way to Jason's wedding. My divorced parents are taking me. I'm in the back seat. It feels good. I brought my blankie. Jason is getting officially married. Oh, it's a surprise. You said divorce, and I was just thinking you and Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What? Did you break I the window? My... No. Are you sure? I was already there. I think you were sleeping the whole time. Wait, what happened? How is it I wake up and the windows crack? That was there. Was that not there? No, it wasn't A rock there. came up and hit it then. Just now? When we were driving, yeah. You heard it? Yeah. I wasn't sure if that was I remember these vlogs being a lot more fun when they were 4 minutes 20 seconds. I don't know, I don't really like these Snapchat ones when we look at broken mirrors. And we, it's not got the same effect as take me to your best friend's house and then like somebody like smashes their head on a rock because David Dobrik's forced them to tie their hands behind their back and try and use a motorbike. That was enjoyable. This, boring. Was there or not? Or wow. 
Thanks. We should just go for what this is. Because he, he's kind of getting married, like, last minute, like, whatever. Not last, Not last minute. couldn't afford a big thing. Yeah, didn't make a big deal, but he goes, for what this is, this is pretty good. And he goes, it's $23. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty beautiful for $23. I mean, that's incredible. $23? Bucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I As opposed this. to, like, 100000 100%. <laughs> I love it. So, David Dobrik has turned up in a jacket to his mate's wedding. I know it's not an expensive wedding, because Jason Nash spent all all of the money that you made on YouTube. But David Dobrik has made no effort here, like at all. And I mean, Jason's in a suit, who cares if it's a cheap one? But David Dobrik, the millionaire, no effort at all. If that doesn't scream YouTuber friends, I don't know what does. They do not put any effort into anything. During the actual ceremony, I'm not brought up, not even once. Natalie, let me see the Yeah, just make sure. No, I've got Natalie, Todd, Joe, Oh, you, oh so you bring up everybody. <laughs> Good for them. I hope that she is happy and that Jason is happy. I guess, you know, I don't wish ill will on them. Um, but it is like dystopian to just have the ex vlog squad members, the remaining ones, not even all of them turn up to film this. His kids aren't even there by the looks of it. It's literally just, just David Dobrik and Natalie and Todd. Yeah. See, if I ever get married, no YouTubers will be coming to my wedding. Not one at all. Not a single one. I will, I, by then, I hope, um, that I am not on TikTok Live. I hope that I am a free man. Um, that's the goal, ideally. I could be free from the internet hellscape that exists. People have been uploading Jason Nash just, um, begging for money. There's no way to put it. He just sits there and he's like, send me money. It's a thing that you do on TikTok. It's called a battle. Both of you have like a thing and whoever gets gifted the most amount of money, uh, wins. I don't know what they win. Uh, hopefully a happy life. Wait. Well, we play as a team, we win. That's that's it. I'll pop it to say, Koozie's back in. Here he comes. We need doubles, and then Koozie's at the club. I know you're not boring. Or, Frazier's got in the building. A little early, Fraser. Try again. There you go, Frazier. Three more, three more. Carson, yes, target. Did he just pretend to sh shoot something? Did he pretend to shoot something? Like, why didn't you just try make YouTube videos that were half decent? I, I, the thing is, he probably got so used to just doing long versions of the vlogs for so long and just put David in the thumbnail. The idea of actually sitting down and making a YouTube video that's maybe something that people actually want to watch is too much effort, but surely that would be better than this. Like, would you make more money, like, making a YouTube video than this? I don't know. Like, how is Jason Nash's YouTube channel doing? So Jason Nash, 3 million subscribers, and yeah, I mean... I mean, the podcast doesn't do fantastically for a guy of 3 million subscribers. Apparently, it's an event when he spends 24 hours with his son. That's crazy. That's crazy that that's like an event. I spent time with my children. And that's a video, apparently. You can see that they've, like, tried to recreate, like, the Vlog Squad thumbnails and stuff. But it's just not working. Visiting his childhood home. It's sad. This is sad. This is actually sad. Because there's no pivot here. You could have tried to pivot. But then also, you got Vlog Squad reads mean comments. But I doubt it's actually like responding to any of the actual genuine criticisms people have about what happened with the vlog squad. It'd be like, oh, you guys suck. And they'll be going, ha 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 ha. Cool. Well, let's go back to watching him beg because now I semi understand why. Doubles, get ready for doubles. Recharge, go. 50 seconds. Here we go. Go, 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 guys. Kuzi's got the glow. He will drop it. Go, doubles. We need Galaxy gets the follow. Yeah! Glow! Yeah, I know the galaxy is like a lot of money, but like, man, to sit there and scream like that. Like, if I get a donation, I'm like, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. I say thank you. But I, I don't like the TikTok live way of donating. I, I much prefer somebody donates like a quid. They have a message attached and you can read it. it get, I, I mean, I read the chat anyway when I stream. Like, we stream on here and I try and read absolutely everything I possibly can. You know, when people use the super chat stuff, whatever, it's easy to get across and there's like a reason for it and, it and it feels like there's a reason to actually donate whereas on TikTok live it's just like a hat and i don't want to be i don't want to go thanks for the hat okay i don't care i don't want to say it actually no thank you take it back Guns. 
Like, this isn't even content. Like, it's not like you're doing a just chatting thing. You're talking about stuff you're interested in, having feedback with your audience. It's just, if you give me more money, we'll beat this guy. Like, why are you giving more money to Jason Nash specifically? Because I could sit there and do that. Anybody could sit there and go, if you give me money, we could beat somebody else who you guys don't know. Like, why are these people relevant? I don't understand the appeal. That's the problem I have with TikTok Live. I don't get why you would give more money specifically to Jason Nash in this scenario. When he's not doing this, is he putting on a decent show? Is he talking to his audience? Is he making them feel like good about themselves? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the appeal is. It just seems like he goes, give me money. We got more money than other people. Yay, we win. With his shotgun. And then he went live with like another former vlog squad member, I'm pretty sure. And uh, it was also tragic. The same example. AKS, 20 seconds left. b Park Park Station. Everybody bring that green home gun. Snipe now. Snipe. Slide, eight, seven, need a bigger, AKS. Somebody commented, break out the resume, <laughs> and they put all the accents on. It sounds way posher that way, um, when you're asking somebody just to apply for a minimum wage job. The thing is, Jason Nash is surely qualified at, like, running people's social media, right? Like, he must understand trends and what's popular. Like, he could work for a company in LA. Like, surely somebody would hire somebody with his knowledge, let alone his contacts. But to see two ex Vlog Squad members, one of them running on a treadmill and, like, asking people for money is really crazy to think that this is how people who were once at the center of the biggest thing on YouTube, this is how they're living now. I'm personally getting worried. I've never been part of the biggest thing on YouTube, so what's gonna happen to me? Somebody hire me to run their Twitter account. I don't know. Yeah! Thank you, Sarah, for trying. Thank you, people. Top gifter, Sarah Kyle. Sarah, you get to choose the next song. People's Station, User 78, you also get to choose the song. You send a galaxy. AKS, Tia, Thoughts, Andrew Spiegel, Max Robin, and Come on, guys. We can get it. We can get it this game. I know we can. All right, Suze. I think you're out of smoke. What do you mean I'm out of smoke? I'm out of smoke, my boy. Wow, really dystopian. You know, I was watching the film Blade Runner last night. I feel like I preferred that version of the future to this one. Seems cooler. And then uh, here's the final video. Somebody parodied Jason Nash, and I thought it was quite funny. And said anything that I was going to say better than I could. So enjoy. Six nights, 400 points. Let's go. Yes, Lexi. Galaxy from Tyler, come on. Two more, guys, please. Five, four, three. Yes, 200 points. <laughs> Jake Cameron, let's go, guys. Fourth win in a row. <laughs> Good battle, Richie. Good battle. Yeah. I'll see you later, man. Oh, welcome to the live guy. Welcome it. Wow, 1,800 people in here. Okay, happy Tuesday, everybody. We need, let's see, eight more slots for top 50. Okay, guys. Uh, no, no more battles for a little while. We're just okay, it's just really jarring because it's so accurate that I almost forget that it's not Jason Nash and that that is a man pretending to be Jason Nash. I mean, it worries me. Do we all have that in us? Could we all end up like this? Well, thank you guys for watching these videos because you do. Um, hopefully I will still have a job, which is always greatly appreciated. I wanted to just say... Thank you very much for watching all the stuff. It means a lot to me. I actually uploaded a video on the main channel uh, a couple of days ago. YouTube um, age restricted it, then rejected my appeal on the age restriction. And then I tweeted them and then they said it should never have been age restricted, even though they rejected the appeal twice. Um, I watched some TikToks with my mate George. So if you've watched this far and you haven't seen it, it's on the YouTube channel. I'm Alex. I greatly appreciate it if you are subscribed um, to this one that you're subscribed to that channel as well. It would mean a lot to me just because, uh, yeah, the video basically tanked because um, of that. So it's either this or TikTok Live. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, David Dobrik is a weirdo. Just leave Jason Nash alone. Or don't give him some of your money because you owe him for everything he did. Bye.